to see you again. Nice to see you. Good to be back in the Rock Pottery Studio with you. We Last time we got together, we talked about some of the handbills, but uh, since you do so much, and there's so much to cover, we came back for another session with you to talk about some of the special things Great. that you do in, in there. So you got some great examples. Why don't you run us through them? Yeah, we do a lot of different, a lot of different techniques, and uh, a lot of this is really kind of exciting. This is a neat one we've been doing, and this is called uh, an agate. And what we do is we take white clay, make a ball, and then we take brown clay, make a smaller ball, cut it in slices, cut the white clay in slices, and drop the brown in between, and that's what we get. Okay, so that's not like clay. That. That's two different. That's two types of clay, get. and it's really kind of fun because when you make it you really can't see what you're getting. And uh, when you trim it, or take the top surface off when it's meat, uh, leather hard, we trim it off and it starts to come through and it gets neater and neater as you go. And it's really kind of fun. Okay. They, they love doing what it. What kind of finish is on that? That is clear. We put clear over the top of the, the finish bowl. Okay, and so that, that's, that's the... All we have. That's, that's the, the color, color and that's what you get. Excellent. And it's a lot of fun. We also do two-piece pots. And this is, uh, we do a lot of texturing too. This is actually done with a balloon inside. And it, the balloon supports the piece. And then we roll in with a, a texture roller. And we roll these in. And then we come back with a brush and start to brush the lines deeper. And the balloon holds it up. And then we make two pieces. We make the bottom. And then we'll make a top, just like that. And it's a oh, whole lot that. easier to throw a piece uh, in two pieces than it is in one. Okay, so the, are these done on, is that one done on the wheel? Yes, this is done on the wheel. Okay. And uh, we make the two pieces, and you can, we can put them together when they're wet. We could do that. Or you could do it this way and fire them separately, mm -hmm. and then what we'll do is we'll glaze them separately. So this could be cream, and the bottom could be a, a beautiful oh, blue. Gotcha. And you get a really nice separation. Then we could fire them together. And when you fire them together, it actually fuses the two pieces together. Or you can leave it separate and put it out like that. Wow, here's a finished one. This one here. I made the pot, and then we made the bottom and the lid. And this is a two-piece pot. It's a whole lot easier to move a lot of clay in two pieces than it is in one. So... And then that was put together and glazed, and uh, there you go. That's a finished piece. We also do a lot of really cool uh, shapes. Now, this is a throne piece. But what we did was we collapsed it like that. Pushed in and collapsed it so it's an oval piece. And then we pulled the spouts on it and put the handles on it, and it's all engraved with uh, bamboo. But a lot of fun. I mean... And when you do it, it's so, it's, you look at the, the expression on the student's face and you go, wow, well, they really love it. <laughs> and really the, the, the possibilities are just endless. Oh yeah, you can do anything you want. Now we do make, these are a lot of bowls that we do, really nice bowls. And uh, that's probably my specialty. I love making bowls because they're usable. Now that one's kind of special there. Huh? This is kind of neat. Earlier. This is called a sake pot. Mm -hmm. And the whole deal with the sake pot I found this at a flea market, and a lady had a, a set, mm -hmm. and I didn't know what it was, and he didn't know. I bought it and brought it home and figured it out that it's a sake pot. And now you make them. And I make them. I've done some bunch of workshops on them. This is a sake pot. It's got the big hole in the bottom, no lid, and uh, you throw it, and you, you throw a little funnel inside to keep the sake in, and you fill it from the bottom, and this is what it looks like. Inside that, this so is a salt you shaker. You actually create the funnel inside the bowl yeah. itself, and then pull over the top of it. Wow, nickel, cool? and uh, we also make here's goblets. These are fun to make. We make them all different sizes. We can make thin. And again, thin the same sense. same way, two pieces put together. Yes, put two pieces together. I really like doing two pieces. Here's texturing. Here's some more texturing, and that's kind of fun. This is. Uh, filled with a balloon and we roll the push real hard on the pot and roll the the design into it. Incredible. Yeah, it's a lot it, you know there's so much to do and I tell people come on in if you got something you really want to try let's do it. 
So come in and experiment with a new shape or anything else? Anything you want to do. I don't mind jumping in both feet. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun. And, and like I said, we laugh all the time. Some don't work out. Most of them do, though. We do really well with it. Right. And then, of course, as you talked about doing the pieces, then you actually take them and you flower them because you have the kilns here to do a complete from beginning to end. Right. Thing is, you got you got some good sized kilns out there. Huh? Yep. yep. Uh, and then, of course, you're doing the glazing and everything else because you have multiple colors in glazing that you can do. We too. have one of the best selection of colors in, in Florida, I think. It's yeah, unbelievable how many it's, colors we've got. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge it's a huge selection of colors, yeah. and of course they'll learn all about the glazing and how to do the glazing and everything else. We take them from start to finish. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, and I work with people at their own speed. If they're you know if they're not real uh, real comfortable throwing, mm -hmm. I I get down with them and hands on and we both do it together. Right, right, okay, right. great. And when are these going to begin? Classes the sixteenth of. Uh, October. Mm -hmm. So coming in October, so yep. real soon. Yeah, so make sure you catch up on the website, the Visual Arts Center, uh, org, and don't forget the, the uh, open studio coming up shortly. And then an open studio, you can check out and you can get all that information online there and sign up for Howard's classes and you kind of need to look at doing that quick because they do fill up quick. Uh, he's got a lot of good students there and they have a lot, and I will contest, you have a lot of fun there, Howard. Yeah. Uh, so, Make sure you check out the website, and for anyone that has uh, been commenting during the show, you can look at getting something like this. It is one of the VAC logos. You get in a drawing, and they'll give it away. It's not the only thing they got, but of course, by now you know it carries my coffee, so it goes with me everywhere. So we'll be back with you in just a little while. We've got some more instructors to talk to. We're finishing out the day of two. We'll be back tomorrow for day three. So make sure you check us out.